Corleone emerged from a civil war recently, which severely damaged its communities and especially the infrastructure across the country. Ten years on, they're still trying to rebuild the health services. Just to give you an example of what this looks like, there's been estimates recently that there's about 13% of the population that suffers from a mental health problem, and yet there's only one trained psychiatrist in the country for a population over 4 million people. Extensive research has identified a significant treatment gap across the world. The treatment gap basically means that there are large numbers of people who don't access or can't access any help or support for their mental health problem. This gap is biggest in low and middle income countries and on average less than 1% of health expenditure in low and middle income countries goes on mental health services. Because the infrastructure really isn't there with mental health services, so much of the support for people with mental health problems across the country is within their communities. It's family members, sometimes traditional healers, other individuals that are important within the communities. The mental health nurses have mainly been trained in Western models, in the medical model, and that's particularly problematic in a country that there's very little access to psychiatric medications. And so there certainly is a need for more psychosocial approaches. This study has evolved and has come out of uh, some work which we're doing in England and in the UK. And we're very concerned about the social environment in which people are living. So it's the, the context of um, an individual with mental health problems and the support their access to social resources in their immediate environment. Some of the ideas which we are working from here are related to the notion of social capital. Now, it's quite a, a disputed concept. It's an idea which means different things to different people. And we're understanding it, as many other authors understand it by, as social resources which people have access to from within their networks. The first part of the study has been a feasibility study and that was a visit to Sierra Leone, myself and a colleague from King's Centre for Global Health, which is based at King's College London. The feedback that we received from stakeholders in Sierra Leone was very positive and they were saying that these ideas about social capital and the ideas about relationship building and connections in the community are quite relevant to the social context that they're coming from and some of the specific elements that we were able to discuss and that, and that they really pointed out were things like building trusting relationships between a healthcare worker and an individual and having that healthcare worker be connecting them with people in the community and somehow enhancing their role within the community and that's really breaking down the stigma which is so prevalent in Sierra Leone and some of the traditional beliefs around mental illness that are present there can really be sort of broken down by that healthcare worker. The feasibility study that we've just conducted provided such rich information for us and really gave us the context in Sierra Leone, um, what mental health services look like, what the workers experience and training capacity has been thus far. The relationships that we built with individuals in Sierra Leone are relationships that we want to continue fostering once we've come back to the UK and so we'll be continuing to collaborate with these individuals from a distance and develop, adapting and developing a model of practice that, that fits in Sierra Leone, as well as developing a training program which highlights some of the gaps in the training that mental health nurses have already experienced and sort of fill those gaps with psychosocial approaches and, and look at it from, from the social capital perspective. <laughs>